Hello and welcome to this session in which we will discuss the role of information technology ITs in business strategies. Now information technology is the main backbone of all businesses because all businesses are online. All businesses, all businesses need computers to function. All businesses, they will need some sort of an e-commerce, at least a website, a web page, maybe a key e-commerce website. So the process over the years has been evolving and evolving rapidly. The process is called digitization. It's the process of converting analog information, such as images, sounds, text, anything, into a digital data that can be processed, stored, and transmitted by computers. And as a result, you will need IT. And once it's on the computer, it's basically on the internet. Also, this process involves automating manual business processes into automated online system. So the IT is here to stay. The IT is a integral part of any business strategy. What we're going to be discussing in this session is what what problems we could have with IT because you know aligning IT with business is a good thing. But what issues we could have that's gonna break this this synergy, not make the synergy as good as possible. And a lot of examples of IT digitization or the digitization of everything, books, magazine, newspaper, camera, smartphones, and other devices capture capture store images and videos digitization of financial transaction, online banking, mobile payment, the use of sensors, digital sensors, GPS, wearable devices to collect data, digitization of medical record, digitization of the retail, enabling online shopping and delivery services. There's endless amount of examples. Everything is online. So IT plays a major role. But we're going to identify three problems that could potentially arise as a result of IT and business strategies. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. No obligation, no credit card required. One, you could have no strategic focus or no goal alignment. The second problem could be no strategic investment, lack of big picture. Three is inadequate scope and agility or flexibility, which is the technology solution is inadequate. We're going to discuss each one of these problems, basically what not to do when it comes to IT and business strategies. The first is lack of strategic focus. Now, many IT investments are initiated by business unit. Well, because it's a company might be, might be, might have many business units. Okay. And maybe one, one unit wants to initiate some sort of a, uh, initiative, IT initiative. But the problem is this IT initiative may not jive with the overall company. For example, a retail company might have business unit, each responsible for a different aspect of the business, marketing, finance, operation. One of the units identify a need for a new e-commerce platform. For example, we want to have an e-commerce platform that allow customers to bid on our product and decide to invest in its development. That's fine, it's, it's an IT project. However, the company overall don't want to get into this business, business of offering a platform where customers can bid on prices because they don't want to get into this business. That's not their strategies. They want to enter the new market through e-commerce, but not through that platform because it does not align with their broader strategy. Okay. As a result, the investment may not fully support the company's overall objective. Now, an example of this in the real world, I mean, could be is... Facebook, which is now the company is called Meta, the old company of Facebook, they're investing in Meta. And all the investors are saying, well, Meta is not really, it's not aligned with your business strategies. Although Meta is becoming a huge, huge investment of Facebook. They have invested over $20 billion in this strategy. So far, again, I, I, I emphasize the word so far because you could be viewing this recording a few years later where Meta is a big thing. But so far, investors don't like it. They think it's a lack of strategic focus. Another reason, it could be lack of strategic investment, which is the lack of investment in technologies or processes that can help an organization achieve its goal. Now you are just lacking. You are not making any strategic investment. At least Meta, Facebook is trying Meta, but now you're not, you're not really doing things, okay? 
Due to the bottom-up approach, there may be excessive focus on existing business operation and insufficient attention to innovative technologies that could chip shape the future of a business here you are missing the whole thing you are not making investment because you are missing the big picture and this could happen because you're focusing on your existing business operation you're not looking outside the box for example a telecommunication company that maintain and improve existing network and infrastructure that's their job with the increasing demand of high-speed internet and the rise of new technologies the company may be overlooking the potential benefit of investing in the next generation network technologies now all what they're doing is they're maintaining the the system but maybe they need to invest in their own technology to kind of basically keep up with the 5g that could benefit them well if they don't make the investment the lack of strategic investment could result in the companies being left behind because they're only they're only they're only servicing the current the current technology and in a competitive market this could your limit your ability to grow and evolve and customers will not need your service and you become ineffective and the competition will be ahead of you so this is where you are lacking the strategic investment you are not looking at the big picture what should i add to my portfolio and the prior and on the prior and the prior problem was you selected the wrong thing now you're not selecting anything the third issue could be inefficient scope and flexibility. Well, IT investments are taken by business units that might have limited vision, limited scope, and unable to adapt to changing business need because one unit within the company may not see the big picture. So they might develop some sort of a software, some sort of an application that's good enough for them, but not good enough for the whole company and not good enough even for them if it, when it comes to scaling. So an example will be a financial services company have multiple business units, each responsible for different areas of the business. One of the business units decided to invest in a new customer relationship management, CRM to improve customer interaction. That's fine, that's a good idea. However, because the investment was made at the business unit, not the whole company unit, not the whole corporate unit, the scope of the project might be limited. As a result, the CRM system may not be able to accommodate changing business needs as the company grows and expand into new market. So that, that's the problem. So we did find a solution. The solution is good, but good on this business unit level, not the corporate, not the corporate level. So the system may lack flexibility to adapt to new technologies, that could be the case, and customer preferences, which could eventually impact the company's competitiveness as customer satisfaction, which is not good. So this is the third problem. On the CPA exam, you might see questions like this. Alex built an Excel sheet to keep track of customer inquiries and questions. The business grew at a rapid pace and the spreadsheet became unmanageable and complex. What is an illustration of this problem? Well, is it lack of strategic focus? No, not at all. Alex saw a need and what Alex did is find a solution, a temporary solution, which is a solution as far as Alex is concerned, which is building an Excel sheet to keep track of this. So there's no strategic focus. There was a need of some sort of a system. So the use of Excel sheet to track customer was effective when the business was small and manageable. However, as the business grew, well, we can't keep, we, we can't use the same system. The system is not useful at a larger level. Okay. Now, again, here we said Alex built a system. We could have also bought a system right and spend more money on this also alex spent time on this project so we did spend resources for a simple solution but not that's not what we really needed did we lack strategic investment are we lacking strategic investment here we are strategic investment is the lack of investment in technologies or processes that can help the organization achieve its goal well this is not a lack of strategic investment in a solution but rather an adequate solution of the chosen problem to scale so yes, we did find a solution. We have a solution, but it's not large enough to scale. Is it inadequate scope and scalability? I would say yes. So initially the, the problem is solved. Maybe we had 10 to 15, 20 inquiries per day, but as we had 100, 200, that the problem did not, the, the Excel sheet did not serve the problem. Maybe we need a CRM, a customer relationship management software that could solve this problem, but the Excel sheet is not good enough. So this is what we mean by inadequate scope and scalability. 
there is a solution the solution is small but not good enough as we grow what should you do now go to farhat lectures look at additional mcqs that's going to help you understand these concepts whether you are a cpa candidate a cma candidate studying for your accounting information system or taking any professional certification it's important that you don't only understand practice what you understand so you will be good to go and ready for the exam they invest in yourself invest in your career good luck study hard and stay safe